Ever met a husband that wanted to branch out into the world of potential new virginies to explore? Only to find out you suck at doing that and your wife's actually doing a much better job than you at having this open relationship experience? Well, welcome to this story. My dad is furious that my mum slept with other people in an open marriage he wanted. My parents got married when they were super young. My dad knocked up my mum and their parents married them off. My grandfather was able to set up some business for my dad in a big city, and they moved here soon after my birth. My mum grew up in a conservative southern town where she was taught to be a submissive wife, and even after moving to the big city, she didn't spend much time socialising. She had no friends and never went out. My dad was only there to provide for us. He was always away on business, and he wasn't there as a husband for my mum or a father to me. My dad made a lot of money, so we never lacked anything. Growing up, I became my mum's best friend. We would talk about everything. I pushed her to make friends and to find hobbies. After years of pushing, she started going to a nearby park and made her first friend, a gym trainer. Encouraged by her friend and me, she decided to join the gym. This is genuinely reading like a movie right now. She met a few more people there and started having some semblance of a social life, but she still continued to tell me everything. I think my dad's new secretary gave him the idea, but he asked my mum for an open marriage almost a year ago. He told her he wasn't happy in their marriage and that she wasn't providing him with everything he wanted. My mum, who is a Christian wife, was mortified and told me about the proposal in tears. I suggested she get a divorce, but she said she didn't believe in it and she wouldn't be the one to end their marriage. As my dad pushed, I knew exactly where this would end up if my mum agreed. Her friend and I convinced her. My mum was hesitant at first, but she agreed with the condition that they would be completely transparent with each other. Now, my dad was a middle-aged man with a belly, and my mum was an athletic woman who worked out regularly. I am a 22-year-old woman, by the way. I don't know how my dad was so blind or what he thought would happen. I helped create online dating profiles for my mum almost six months ago. After getting an insane number of matches, choosing from them and chatting with them for months, my mum started hooking up with a few people. Getting all this attention has provided a massive boost to her confidence, and she seems better. My dad hooked up with his secretary almost immediately. He's had very little luck with other ladies. With their transparency thing, my mom tells him all about her hookups. A few weeks ago, my dad screamed at my mom for some minor thing. That usually, my mom would have apologized, but with her new confidence, she didn't back down. Ugh, I'm not this kind of person, but yeah, girl! Ah, oh, frick yeah! God damn! <laughs> Also, dad hooking up with the secretary almost immediately. I mean, who saw that a mile away? I've recently fallen in love with that Dollface series. No thanks to Emily. But all I can think of is being a part of that girl group and just being like, Yeah, girl, yeah, freaking get it, yeah. Oh, I'm a manly man. <laughs> Did I just voice squeak as I said that? It's been constant fights since the last few weeks. My dad keeps starting fights by making snide remarks about my mom's clothing or appearance. He almost even called my mum a hua, but stopped himself. I think open marriage finally sunk in. But my mum told me he tried to have a conversation about stopping their open marriage, but she immediately shot it down. I think they'll split up. My dad was never there for either of us, but the thought of my parents splitting up still feels weird. I don't feel bad for my dad, but I wish he put effort into his family. I'm happy for my mum, though. So how are you doing? You enjoying the story so far? Because it gets better. So you may recall this talk about how they moved to the city because grandfather uh, set up a business for dad to run and operate and all that kind of stuff. Yes, well, we're about to learn it's not actually his. An update last month. A few days after my previous post, my dad left our home and had a divorce served to mum in a week. My grandparents didn't know about any of this but my dad told them when he served the divorce. He also implied to them that my mum was cheating on him. Both sets of grandparents came to our home and started berating my mum. Now, I kept screenshots of all my parents' communications, and 
my mum showed to them to them, and it got way worse after that. Grandparents started fighting each other, blaming each other's children for causing all this. Right, good on the dad's parents for completely ignoring the fact that their father has, or well, their own son, has lied to them. Okay. A few days after this, my mum's old church friends came to our home. Back when my mum used to go to church, they used to look down on her for being from a small town. My mum has always been a very caring and non-judgmental person, so she disagreed with their bigotry and they began excluding her from their activities. After she met her gym friends, my mum stopped going to church entirely. These church friends started calling my mum a salute and she kicked them out. My mum is on a cut right now, so she has very defined abs and arms. So along with all the normal stuff getting thrown at her, my grandparents accused her of having a man body and she also had a lot of random transphobia thrown at her. Her trainer friend has been a great support through all this. She contacted the attorney she used for her divorce and my mum is spending a lot of time at her house. Turns out, the business my dad is running is owned by mum. It was set up in my mum's dad's in his name, so it belongs to her. I did not know this until now, and assumed that my dad owned it. The whole situation is a huge mess right now. Dad is living in some hotel, and my grandparents left yesterday after a week of fighting and trying to force my parents back together. I know there's a lot more divorce drama to come, but I hope it calms down for now. Top comment sells it. Honestly, I might just sit down with some popcorn to watch this implosion. So he basically wanted his wife's permission to bang his secretary, and when that didn't work out, he thought his reserve, or in other words, the wife, would be so grateful he came back to her that she would, what, immediately end all the attention and self-confidence she obtained? Like, obviously your dad never did his research. In open marriages, it's almost always easier for the woman to find a date than a man. And I gotta be honest, it's perplexing that it seems to always be, <laughs> let's say this as respectfully as I can, the ugly men in these relationships who want this open relationship stuff. Like, the, the woman seems to always be much more attractive if you compare the two. I don't know, it's just, it's a funny coinkadink, don't you think? And so now, on to yesterday's update. A lot of Schmidt has happened since my last update. Now, firstly, I wanted to thank all the well wishes on my previous posts. Writing these posts has helped me process the stuff that's happening, so I'm making another one. Yay, therapy through Reddit! My mom's attorney, the one recommended by my mom's gym friend Lisa, has been a great help. She walked my mom through what's going to happen and reassured her. She started looking through the company stuff in preparation for the divorce proceedings, and we found a lot of shocking stuff. I don't know why I was surprised by this, but my dad was having affairs for a long time. He used company resources to book flights and resorts at holiday destinations. There were receipts for many trips with multiple women, spanning the last 10 years. Because he was always absent from our lives, my mom didn't suspect anything. It didn't seem like he made any effort to hide these. He also used the company email to talk to his secretary about the affair stuff. Turns out, they were freaking months before my dad asked my mom for an open relationship. Now, this is what we gathered from their emails. After months of their affair, the secretary didn't want to remain a mistress. So, she started pestering my dad to get a divorce but they wanted my mum to initiate it so that he could get a massive chunk of the company. The secretary came up with the idea of asking my mum for the open relationship. They hoped that my mum would be horrified and ask for a divorce. They were cut off guard when my mum agreed. My dad got jealous when my mum started having it on with other people. So after initiating the divorce, he deleted all his emails and told his secretary to do it too. Unfortunately for him, they were still stored on the company email server. I haven't seen my dad in over a month. All of his communication has been through his attorney. Apparently, he wants half the company. My mom's attorneys are still looking for more evidence, but they told us that they don't expect him to get much with the evidence they have. Lisa has been supporting my mom through the whole ordeal. She also got a divorce because her husband cheated on her, so she's been helping my mom a lot. Now, the OP does mention that this probably just gonna be a normal divorce uh, scenario because he's gonna go to trial, no doubt, the dad here. So this might be the last update, but oh, I, I beg, we hope that it isn't. Want to know the results. I'm personally finding this 
a close second to the uh, uh, Depp and Amber Heard case. You know, it's just that you just you gotta know, eh? You gotta know. What's this stupid? What the frick type of family do you have? Why are you involved in this? And why do you think it's okay to film your mum having it on? Do you think you're treating your mum with respect when she is getting pounded from behind? You can always be fun, row, rag boy, but don't film your mother. Where? Who? What? There was nothing about filming her mum having it on in either posts. Oh, I assumed. Get off the internet, you're seven. Good thing she never slept with me, she would be addicted. <laughs> Shut up. The fact you had to type that out on Reddit, of all places, automatically makes me suspect you're bad in bed. So overall, a fun story, <laughs> a fun journey we've had together. Plays a bit like a movie. I do fear as a result it may be fake, but there's some of these stories, there are things that happen in life that are just too good to be true. So this next story gets into child raising issues, and I'm really curious what uh, your thoughts might be on it. Because there are comments that are blaming the mother in this, suggesting it might be some uh, medical issue, like menopause and things. Some argue that the father just needs to get his schmidt together and deal with it, because this woman is just doing the best she can. And yeah, there's a lot of uh, interesting factors that people think might be at play, so... What is this, Jack? Is that you... Fondling someone's balls? What is this gesture? Let's read! I have a wife, but I don't have a partner. I have a wife, but I don't have a partner. She is a stay-at-home mother and works her effing butt off. Our kids are not easy. They don't listen. They're wild. They hit each other. And they call us, and each other, names. I love them with all my heart, and I know my wife does too. But she blames me. Anytime they're tough, she blames me. It's my genes that cause them to act this way. Their actions are a reflection of me, but only my worst qualities. We should have never had kids together, she says. Could anything hurt worse? A total rejection of both me and the kids. Wishes she never married me and the kids didn't even exist. I know she doesn't mean it. Doesn't make it hurt less. She openly threatens divorce in front of the kids then changes her mind 180 degrees and says there's nobody else for her and our family. I've tried to talk about it. I've told her how triggering this is, how much it hurts, but she can't change it. Or she won't. I don't know. I'm not an absent figure. I work from home. Divily separate from work to put her first, then the kids. I'm not a perfect parent. I'm not a perfect spouse, but I always try to be better. I look at parenting as a team sport where she's on my team, but she doesn't. I'm never on her team. I'm either not doing enough or I'm sabotaging her. I let her sleep in. Why didn't I wake her up? Kid has a bad day at school. It's my fault. Good day at school. I must have fricked something else up. It's endless. It's not always this bad, but when it is, it sucks. I check out. I used to be more invested, but it hurts too much. Just wait out the storm and the sun will come out. So first of all, terrible uh, uh, pursuit to take, sir. Just waiting out the storm. No, personally, I feel like you're just giving uh, power to her to continue being abusive. Like, okay, you can have your workload as a partner and a parent, but that doesn't excuse you to treat your partner poorly or to make your partner feel like a piece of schmidt. Top comments are uh, really playing into this like, hey, let's challenge her sort of thing. She openly threatens divorce in front of the kids, and she wonders why they have behavioral problems. Point of her blatant lack of self-control, the kids will simply be mimicking. Yeah, those kids about to let significant others treat them like Schmidt when they reach relationship age. Or stuck wondering why they can't make a relationship work because they're the ones treating their significant others like terrible, but it's so normal for them. Yeah, she keeps threatening for divorce, get divorce papers, and slap them down in front of her. See how quickly she changes her tune. Now this next comment, uh, because we can all agree, it's clearly more of an expression of frustration and not so much a genuine desire of theirs. Uh, a very nice insightful paragraph of things that I'll read out for us. Thanks for that insightful thinking. Um, next stop my ass. Mm. <laughs> it's always these names that have the most constructive opinions. In my experience, at least, people who routinely resort to the nuclear option are uh, simply incapable of communicating their feelings in a constructive and meaningful way. They would rather emotionally manipulate their partner into a no, 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 I love you, baby, don't go response than have a hard conversation about what's actually wrong. It's a stonewalling tactic through and through. She doesn't want a divorce. She wants to goad OP into a response. I think a good next step is the next time she brings up divorce, 
force the issue. All right, you've been saying this for a long time, and I think that after all this time, if you feel so strongly about divorce, we need to start discussing issues like dividing our assets and custody arrangements. She'll immediately try to change the topic, but he should really push it. No, 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 you're absolutely right. We're terrible together. Let's start with our assets. So it is, in a way, just a more constructive version of, all right, bet, here's the paperwork, let's get started. But the desired result is a bit more of a communication platform to set for each other. And yeah, this one, I'm surprised it's got so many upvotes. Uh, maybe a lot of misogynist men in the Reddits. I'm probably going to get pilloried for this, but when was the last time she had her hormone levels checked by an endocrinologist? That's a thing. Big mood swings could be a malfunctioning thyroid. Uh, maybe it's clinical and not her environment. And yeah, more people, uh, yeah, I was thinking early menopause. Other comments suggesting maybe bipolar disorder. Uh, oh no, sorry. <laughs> Borderline personality disorder. Yeah. Well, I should not be a psychologist until I've studied. <laughs> but overall, most of the more sane comments do suggest just going to marriage counselling. This could be a case that, yeah, she's overworked. Uh, find ways that you as a father can help establish a bit more uh, boundaries on the kids and more authority. Uh, easier said than done, of course. So what do we think? How could you fix this sort of environment uh, to keep your relationship thriving? Congratulations, you're at the end of another video. Thank you as always for watching. Uh, a bit of a short one today, unfortunately, but I'll make sure to grab some more for us tomorrow. Again, love your faces for sticking into the end. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. It's completely free and you can always unsubscribe if you get bored of my voice. Hope to see you around soon again, but until then, you be a good person, drink some water, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.